Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I was uh, going through my channel the other day, and uh, there was a comment from uh, a guy named Galen. I told him I was going to make this video just for him uh, about the uh, loading arms on my LT40. Uh, he mentioned that uh, the way I was doing it seemed to be a lot easier than the way he was doing it. And um, it got me to thinking that, uh, first of all, the way I was doing it was the way I was taught. But I remember seeing a video that somebody else had done where they were, it was very, very easy the way they, they were doing it, even easier than my method. Uh, so I tried to find the video, could not find it, tried to duplicate what they were doing and was able to duplicate it, but I really didn't feel comfortable doing it in that manner because it seemed to put a lot of uh, unnecessary stress and strain on some of the components of the sawmill. So what I did is I did some thinking and I just happened to have one of these, you've seen these regular ratchet straps. Uh, that had the, the webbing on one end was uh, damaged and so I had this leftover stuff and I thought maybe I could use that to make my life a lot easier. Now before we go any farther this is for entertainment purposes only. You are not to do this yourself. Um, it's um, again something that I am doing for myself and uh, cannot tell you to do it your, uh, yourself. But at any rate, this unit right here uh, is a Husky brand available at Home Depot and uh, it's rated at 750 pounds or so working load. And um, what I did is, uh, this is no longer any good, and someplace around here, there it is. This here is the broken end that I had. And what I did was I cut it to seven feet in length, folded over one end, or there we go, folded over one end, just tied a simple knot in it, and here's my tool. So let's see how this thing works, how I use it, because you're not going to be doing this yourself because it's dangerous, so kids don't try this at home without adult supervision. And again, this is only for entertainment purposes. So here's how it works. So I've got the mill just sitting in my shop right now. Uh, unfortunately, it's been sitting here for a very, very long time. What with the snow and cold and everything else, I haven't been able to run it like I want to do. So I'm kind of stuck with uh, doing anything I can so that I can play with it. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say the word play, because uh, if the big boss hears about this, uh, it's supposed to be something I work with, not play with. Regardless, um, the way this... Uh, little tiny thing that I made works is we're going to turn on the key here and we're going to take and raise the loading arms then I'm going to raise the clamp and move the clamp back so far easy peasy That's it, folks. That's it. Now to, now to finish the clamp, I'll just raise the turner. Then 
Then we take our hold down chain, just like that. We interrupt this program for the following announcement. This is not a test. Please pay attention. I did some thinking yesterday after reviewing the video and using the, the hook that we have here and the loop works great as far as the tensile strength. The problem is if things aren't perfectly kept tight, it could pull apart and you might have an issue with your loading arms falling down. So what I did this morning is something a little bit different and I'll go get the other prop here. If you take your webbing that uh, I'm going to show you at the end of this video where to buy these or where you can buy um, and you take a nine foot length of the webbing measure in from the end 14 inches bend it in half clamp it and put a regular simple overhand knot and you do that on both ends you end up with a piece that has two loops on it like this so the loop end is big enough to go over the clamp quite easily. Wrap this around the other side. And we find that it fits on there nicely. Okay, to let the loading arms down, we're going to make sure that we're connected here and do the following. I'm going to raise the loading arms. And then back off on the clamp. And we're finished.